Director of Operations at the Water and Sewage Authority, Shaira Ali, said the completion of the Paramount Water Supply Project is a milestone for the authority. Previously, the community received a supply from Paramount Well 7 at the base of the Paramount Hill, and this supply was only able to reach somewhat to level 4. This supply was also inadequate to meet the demands of this growing community. Since taking up office in 2020, Minister of Public Utilities Marvin Gonzalez said the ministry has been able to increase the water supply to customers of Watsa. 32% of the population was receiving a 24-7 water supply. Today, over 50% of the population is now receiving a 24 level of service and other communities would have moved from once per week or twice a month as the case may be from three days a week to four days a week, five days a week. And that's the reason why when you turn on your television every night, you're no longer seeing people burning tires and creating all kinds of problems. Minister Gonzalez is hopeful that water supply issues will continue to be addressed by WASA. We will give you the assurance that the issue of water supply in Trinidad and Tobago and the issues and the problems that we face will be a thing of the past. Minister of Finance and MP for Dago Martin Northeast, Colm Imbert, and the residents have been waiting for years for a steady supply. The transformation from getting water once every two weeks or even once a week to every day is unbelievable. And it is only because, only because you have a PNM government and you have a Minister of Public Utilities who is from this area who understands the problems. A tour of the Mia River intake was done as the river will supply the water for the project. Two booster stations were also constructed as part of the project and the 185,000-gallon tank farm. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.